Once you have finished drawing the church pool garden, you'll need to output the drawing to an Adobe PDF. Up until now, you've been drawing in what is known as model space, where you've been drawing lines and P lines and arcs in order to create the pool garden. To output your drawing, you're now going to work in what is known as layout. And if you click on the Layout tab down at the bottom left corner of AutoCAD, you'll see a representation of a sheet of paper appear on the screen. And if we click on the hand, you'll notice that we're moving this virtual sheet of paper around. And you'll also notice, if we hit Escape to get out of the pan mode, that down at the bottom it says Paper which means we're in what's known as paper space. The other mode is what's known as model space. So if we click on paper, we move into model space. And now if we click on the hand, you can see that we're moving our drawing around within the confines of what's known as the viewport. So this dark rectangle is a viewport into our model. And if you use the scroll wheel, you can zoom in or zoom out on this drawing to make it as large or small as you desire. There are a couple of other ways of getting back and forth between model space and paper space. So look at the bottom, and currently we're in model space, as you can see by the dark outline. If we go outside of that box and double click, you can see that the border of our viewport gets lighter, which means that we're now back in paper space. And you can see that if we zoom in, zoom out, we're zooming in just on the paper, not on the actual model. The other way is to double click on the viewport, and that will bring us back into our model space. Another technique is to get into paper space, we can just type PS, paper space, and that will get us into paper space, or MS, which will take us back into model space. So we can either click on this tab to switch modes, we can double click, or we can type in the PS or MS commands. We're now ready to format our piece of paper for output. So, the first thing is to do some page setup. So if we go to Page Setup Manager, by right-clicking on the Layout tab, we can select the Page Setup Manager. Or, let's close this. You can come to Output and simply click on Page Setup Manager and bring up the same dialog box. We can now click on Modify, and we first want to select Adobe PDF, since that's what we want to output this drawing to. We're not going to make a physical copy. We're going to make a digital equivalent of the sheet of paper. And we want the paper size to be letter. And you can see that there are a whole series of different options here from very large plots um, architectural D or E um, down to just a single piece of paper. The other selection is that we want this to be vertical or a portrait orientation. So we can simply click OK, click on that button, and now we can close. So you can see our sheet of paper has been altered. Right now we're in model space. So we'll double click outside that box to get ourselves back into paper mode or paper space. If we click on our viewport, you can see that the grips come up and we can move the grips in order to fit our sheet of paper more appropriately. And so now we're ready to scale our image. So if we double click to get back into model space, you can see we can zoom in on 
our drawing and get the model to fit into our viewport. However, this is not at any specific scale. So to scale, if you go down to Scale Selected Viewport, we want this to be 1 inch equals 16 feet. Now since we set our units to be one unit being one foot, we're going to actually set up a ratio of 1 to 16. And you can see this shrinks down, but that means that this, when output, will actually be at a scale of 1 inch equals 16 feet, that you can use a physical scale to measure the distances on this drawing. Now what happens sometimes is you'll accidentally hit the scroll wheel and suddenly you don't know what size this drawing is and you need to go back and reset the scale. To avoid this, you can come down on the bottom and lock your viewport. So you just simply click and the lock turns blue and now when we use the scroll wheel, we're just zooming in on the piece of paper, the viewport remains constant. And this will save you a great deal of frustration later on as you work on more complex projects. If you look at the layers, you'll notice that our viewport is on the pool layer. So what we want to do is click onto the layer properties and we're going to add a new layer and simply call that title block. With that layer created, we can now double click outside and then select our viewport. If you'll notice, we were in model space before. And with the grips showing, we simply come and switch this to the title block layer. The next video will show you how to create a title block, a scale bar, and a north arrow, as shown in this example. And this is what your Exercise 2 title block should look like for submission.